Arts and Students Art Show is underway at Art 634, and we welcome from Northwest Early Elementary School art teacher Julie DeRocher. Hi, Julie, Hi. good to see you. Nice to see you too. Art teacher and artist. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So that, that's what's neat about the show. It's not just the students, but the art teachers get to. Yes, yes. Originally, when it was um, Carrie, um, used to curate the shows at the museum and she, um, Carrie Jowers, and she uh, wanted to feature artwork of art teachers. And then we kind of incorporated um, our student artwork into the show as well. And so we've been doing this for about eight years. And um, yeah, it's just been really fun. It gives us a challenge as art teachers because we don't take a lot of time probably to do <laughs> art. And it gives, up, it gives, it gives us a challenge to uh, get work done for that show, so. With the pandemic, we couldn't do uh, this, right? Right, well, so the first year in um, 2020, um, when everything shut down there in March, we had already started, the show was already um, up. It stayed up for a really long time <laughs> because- uh, But no guess. I mean, right, <laughs> the, everything was shut down. And then um, the following year we did, um, we did the show, we didn't do the opening where we had the artist reception, but we had the show up and we also did a virtual version of the show for people that weren't able to get out and see it, so. Well, right now it's on through uh, next weekend. At next our, Saturday, yep. 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 And we have some photos. Uh, Jay's TV's Jeff Steers. Oh, Steers. one of my students. Uh, these, these are some of your students. Yeah. Cl Chloe Chloe's, here. yep. Uh, Chloe, she made a big C for her name. This is Skylar. Yeah, they yeah. did. It. it was a printmaking project. So, and this is Skylar. She's a kindergartner. Skylar uh, oh. Brockwell? Brocknell? Bicknell. Bicknell. Yeah. The rainbow. And then this is Demi's. So, and she's a first grader. Snowflake there. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. That's and yours. Then, well, you got all my artwork. <laughs> yes, this is one of my pieces. You're into mm. breakfast, aren't you, Julie? I, Cause this I is guess, just yeah, breakfast this year. Lucky anyways. charms. <laughs> 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 My lucky charms, yep. It really, so. I, to be an art teacher and be an artist the same, that, I think uh, you need to be, you need to be a I, creative. Yes, I think so. You need to take time for yourself to create for sure. Um, but I love this just because it shows the community that we're not just teachers, we're also artists, you know, and. Um, it, and it, it's really cool for the kids to come and see, the kids that are involved to come and see their teachers where it came right next to theirs. Um, so that, that's a neat opportunity. Does it force you to create something that you probably wouldn't have taken the time to be Maybe, yeah. for some people, yeah. yeah. Yep. What's your media? Um, I, acrylic painting is mm -hmm. what I enjoy the most, but Really, I mean, I hadn't done a lot of art since college and because of the show, when we first started it, it's kind of pushed me to start doing more art and develop a style. And um, so here we are, like eight years later, actually. Um, I've sev sold several of my pieces. Oh, cool. Um, are the, are yeah. the donuts and Lucky Charms They for are sale? for sale. Nobody's bought them yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe after today. And maybe. is this a juried show? No. No, the art teachers choose the um, artwork of their students that they mm -hmm. want to display. Each art teacher can choose um, three pieces per building. So, mm -hmm. and then most of the art teachers have about two or three pieces in the show themselves. With the pandemic and when you had your students at home, online, yeah. I mean, was, did, art, did your education of art suffer? Um, I mean, it was hard to, to know what the kids were doing, but we put stuff out there huh. and um, virtually um, through the learning platform with our school. And um, actually last year I didn't do art. We didn't have elementary art at Northwest last year. So you did not? I was a fifth grade teacher last year. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So that was a different experience, but hmm. one I'm glad I had. So you survived fifth grade? Oh yeah. I had an awesome class. So <laughs> <laughs> Great group of kids. Let's talk about another art show. Yes. This is the one that's, I think even, it's been going on for a so long time. For a long time, even before, um, many years before this show. Um, so this, the show that used to be at the 
Jackson Crossing Mall. Probably if you've lived in Jackson for a while, you've seen that. Your kids um, have got art in Mall. <laughs> right, right. And um, so la we couldn't do it during the pandemic. Um, so we went virtual. So I think the last two years we've done a virtual show. Um, and we're continuing to do a virtual show this year as well um, because the mall is not allowing us to come and set up there yet. So um, these are... So this is when the show will open, and this is the um, address where you can access it. And there, we do award ribbons. We have judges for the show. Um, and then these are some of the pieces that will be in the show, I think. Probably those are from, anyways, these are all the teachers that are participating. The, um, a lot of, mostly high schools and middle schools doing it. A lot of the elementary schools do kind of their own thing, so, mm -hmm. yeah. I remember um, several times uh, loading everybody up in the car and going to the mall to see the It's kid. really neat to see yeah. the variety. And these pieces are all from Northwest High School. So um, Julie Evers is the art teacher at the high school. And these are her students' work mm -hmm. that will be in the virtual show. Very good. So, yeah, they're awesome. Do, you get, do the kids surprise you sometimes? Oh, yeah. All the time. I love to see their creativity. Very nice. Yeah. So there's probably hundreds of pieces in this. Hundreds of pieces, yeah. We're excited to get that up and running. So it'll be available for, I think you can continue to see it until the right. school year's over. So, nice. and then like we'll have the awards listed on there too at that web address. So. Cool. Yeah. Well, it turns out we do have an extra minute, so even though I told you I wasn't <laughs> going to ask you about Tiki mm, Sam's. Okay. <laughs> uh, tell us about Sam DeRocher and Tiki Sam's. Well, we're opening a restaurant in Horton. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> sounds like somebody's excited about that. <laughs> um, we're super excited about it, and um, we're really looking forward to it, and just really busy right now trying to get everything um, you know, uh, purchase all the equipment and get everything ready. So um, we hope to be open, I don't know if I should say this, but um, end of May, beginning of June. So that's our, that's what we're shooting for. So July. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it won't be that so, long. But, <laughs> uh, well, everyone, um, I, but yeah, it's, it's exciting time yeah. for us. Yeah. Very exciting. Very yeah. exciting for the community. We've, yeah. we've we're loved. very thankful for the success that we've had. Yeah. Um, and you know how much everybody loves us around Jackson. So, well, it's been neat um, following the growth. You know, really from just a an a idea, tiny. a trail, a little trailer. <laughs> yeah. And it just it's exploded. People love Tiki Sam's Pizza. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Now, are you going to have because you are going to have the um, Detroit style? as a separate tr uh, truck. Yep, which we still will eventually have, but yes, we will be offering Detroit style at the restaurant. Both? And, and yep, and another kind of, uh, it's like a tavern style cracker crust, really thin, crispy crust pizza. Yeah, Sam's so constantly he's, researching. He's, yes, and he's been working hard on new recipes and um, getting those down, so, yep. Yeah, he's, he, Trains with pizza masters yes, from all, all around the world. Yep. Very impressive. Well, we can't wait. And uh, thanks Thank for you. investing in the community again and some more. Well, for sure. All right. So people have um, just a few more days to go to the... Yep. Uh, until the 30th is the uh, last day at the Art 634 show. So. And they yep. do it um, just five days a week, I think? Um, yeah. I think it's uh, I don't, Wednesday. Over, like 11 to 6. It's open or something. Wednesday through Sunday. Yes. 11 to 6 mm -hmm. at Art 634. And if somebody's interested in buying the artwork of the teachers or the students, they there's Yep, contact. there's information there that of who to contact. Okay. Yep. And the other uh, virtual online show starts? Uh, I can't remember when it starts. It was on the slide, but... It's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up here. I think it's in April. Uh, no, May. In May. Well, there it is. April. Oh, April 25th. Opening Monday. There you go. Come on, this is open. All right. <laughs>
Great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for sharing your students' uh, work and your work. Yeah, thank you. Uh, later today on JTV.TV, we'll have uh, a larger selection of artwork from the show by JTV's Jeff Steers. Uh, check it out later today. Uh, stay tuned. He's back, uh, standing by in the uh, green room, probably tan 